First of all, the 10,000 steps is a fallacy. It was uh, one of the best marketing tools that came out of uh, Japan in the 1960s, saying that everyone should walk 10,000 steps. And uh, since then, no one's actually done any research on it, and they, the number is a solid number, so it's stuck. What we know is if you end up doing anywhere between four to 6,000 steps, but you change your intensities. So there's three, there's three intensities I talk about. There's high intensity, which is pushing a walk to about eight out of 10. Uh, you can't carry on a conversation with someone if you're walking with them. The second intensity is a moderate intensity, about five to seven out of 10. There you can just carry on a conversation. And then obviously low intensity, which is uh, uh, you can carry on a conversation with uh, people quite comfortably. If you change your walk, and you go uh, fast, medium, slow, and if you can build that up over time, you're going to get far better results than doing 10,000 steps at the same speed uh, each and every time. The human body and the human mind needs to be pushed outside its comfort zone, and uh, when you change intensities with your walking, you get some superior results. When you're working with your sports trainer or your personal trainer, uh, the things I recommend are finding out activities where you can push your intensities in those three zones. So you push them uh, into the high intensity, moderate and low, and then you keep modulating up and down and you'll get some very good results in a very short period of time, which is a matter of uh, months.